and we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create a Zapier filter in Adobe Photoshop. There are many ways to do it, I'm going to show you two quick ways. This is the original image, you will find that via the description link below. Let's make it black and white with an adjustment layer black and white. And now we need another adjustment layer, hue and saturation. Colorize it. And now we want to play around with the hue. For the sepia tone, you need a value for the hue of around 35 to 40, something in between. I think 40 is a little bit too much, so I'll go down. 37 seems to be a good value. The saturation, I like to increase it in this example just slightly. It depends on the image that you're using. 30 is a good value here. Lightness, don't adjust it too much. Just double click on the name if you want to go back to the default. I'll go down just slightly and that's fine. You can also play around with the opacity of the adjustment layer to adjust it further. But another thing that you can do is to simply copy the adjustment layer, press Ctrl J for that, then increase the saturation of the second one. Go to the layer mask and inverse it. Press Ctrl I or click on the menu button for inverse. Then press B for the brush tool. Make sure black and white are selected. Make white your foreground color. You need an opacity of 100. And you can adjust the brush over here. And obviously you want to have a white foreground color. So let me change that over here. And now it reveals a little bit of the second adjustment layer. You can use that to give a little bit more focus on objects in your image. And you can see the effect very good. Right here on the wall, if you've given it too much of the second sepia color, just press X, you've got the black color in the forefront and then paint over it to get rid and conceal parts of this adjustment layer. So this is the first method to add a sepia effect. A second one is to simply sample an image of something that you found online. You can do a Google image search for example. Let me show you this as well. I group everything else and I want to use a color fill solid color layer and the eyedropper tool. So simply press I for the eyedropper tool, then go outside of your image, sample a color from outside. And here I've got something that works very well for my color fill layer. Let me rearrange my windows here. And now I'm going to use that color for my solid color layer. So adjustment layers, solid color, there's the color, we can OK. And then we'll change the blending mode to color. And it makes sense to use the opacity to go down just a little bit. So this is the second option to create this API filter in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.